Hello and welcome to this demonstration of how you can implement Terrain in the Godot engine. Uh, we will be reading an image to get the height data. This is a live commentary now. I'm watching the video with you. I'm starting out by creating a spatial that is uh, a node, a parent node for our uh, terrain. I also created a mesh instance which will hold our mesh. Uh, creating a script now in the terrain. Um, I have to save a scene here. And the function ready is uh, called when the program is loaded, kind of like a constructor. I'm creating a vertices field here that is uh, just an array of uh, vector 3. Also I created a width and a height uh, which is kind of like a the width and height of a tile map. Uh, it specifies how many quads I want on the two axes. Here I created two loops. I intend to push some vertices into the array. This was uh, difficult for me as you can see it took a while. I think that is good and I tried to um, just do this from memory and I introduced a bug here which will haunt us later. Creating a surface tool now and starting it uh, by specifying that we want triangles. And now I'm looping through the vertices array and I should just push each vertex into the surface tool. I didn't know how I wanted to make that loop so I'm making a few changes to it and I'm adding the vertices. Then I'm committing the mesh to a temporary mesh and I'm setting the mesh instance mesh to that mesh. Really complicated. I introduced another bug there. We will talk about that in a minute. I'm now making a camera so we can render our scene and see that there's no geometry because there are two bugs. The mesh needs to be initialized. I think I will take care of that in a minute here. Uh, now I am making a new material and saving it as terrain material. And I am setting the material in the code. And still nothing Then I tried setting the material from the UI, which uh, I believe you can do. Not what I ended up doing in the end, but I tried it here and I still got no geometry. Now I'm adding a color to each vertex, just a white color. Uh, this color should be uh, multiplied by the color in your material or texture. So setting an all white one, it's safe. I was debugging at this point, I didn't know why this geometry wasn't rendering. And I was worried. Now I'm also adding a normal, just a normal that points in the y direction and points straight up and still no geometry. Hopefully I will soon initialize the temporary mesh in the beginning of the script. Now I'm setting the material in the code instead or I guess as well and initializing the mesh finally but still nothing uh, because this second vertex I push I made a mistake it should be minus y minus 1 but I wrote minus y plus 1 so out of frustration I'm now just trying to push a, a foolproof triangle to the array and it actually renders, which is great. And there you see me trying to rewrite the loop uh, using the foolproof triangle. Where I'm re, I'm changing things uh, one thing at a time. Uh, though if you notice there, there's actually no geometry rendering. Uh, with this code. So there is a mistake again. 
uh, it should be min minus y minus 1. I'm trying to change the loop here. Maybe that will do something. Nope. And there I think I finally fixed it and we have beautiful triangles uh, rendering. Or, well not beautiful, there still is a mistake. But it's, uh, it's getting closer to be a landscape. And there, now we have, we can almost see the quads uh, in front of us. We just need to render the last half of the triangles, uh, which we'll do here. And there we go. We now have a flat plane consisting of width by height quads, uh, kind of like a tile map. Now I am writing a function that will create the quad so I can uh, leave some of the code uh, down there, all the vertices, because I expect I will push more than just the vertex data uh, into the surface tool. I also want some normals, maybe texture coordinates, and we just loaded a height map here creating a new uh, variable, height data, which is a dictionary. If you're a Java programmer, it's just like a hash map. And we're setting the width and height uh, according to the image, width and height. And then we are looping through each of the pixels in the image resource. It is important that it is actually imported as an image. Um, and we have to lock the image when we get pixel data and unlock it when we're done. I don't know the specifics of why, but we have to in order for it to work. <laughs> Great, now I have to apply the height data to the Y coordinates of all the vertices that I uh, push to the mesh have to be uh, careful about which points I read from the uh, from the height data. I should say that the uh, the height data is uh, floats float values uh, with vector two keys. So that's why you see me uh, reference vector two in order to get the height values. Still doesn't look like much is happening. Maybe it's because all the normals are pointing up. So there I'm creating three variables for vertices and two for sides and one for normal. And then I am populating it. Each triangle uh, has one has two sides, which are uh, represented by vector threes in those variables. And then the normal, uh, we use the cross product to get the normal for the two sides take side the one side as a vector and cross product uh, with the other side vector and we get the normal and the normal is pushed to a normal list uh, with the same amount of uh, entries as the vertices uh, one entry for each vertex it still doesn't look like anything is happening when we are rendering so I just put pull the camera real close so I can see and it seems like it's actually uh, working from that angle and from this angle and this angle is actually really good but um, we need some light so I'm adding a directional light uh, this creates this nice really nice actually uh, Martian landscape almost and now we're adding uh, texture coordinates to each vertices uh, we're just taking the uh, vertex position and dividing it by 10 to make 10 quads have one entire texture on it and then make it repeat. So when you do this, you should uh, probably choose a texture that tiles well. Uh, the one I use here does not do that and it shows. I'm downloading a, a grass texture from Google here. I'm setting it as the texture in code and it doesn't it didn't work. I don't think it did. 
Oh wait, there's a bug. Okay, fixing a bug. Did it work? It did work. Very nice. We now have a texture on a mesh for terrain. This was uh, actually our goal. So we're done, that's great. If you want to do this yourself, you can follow along in the video and pause when I show the code, or you can download the source code in the description. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Bye.